man accused of shooting his classmates faces several charges, including second degree murder. Now we're learning more about Christopher Darnell Jones Jr. The university's threat assessment team knew about him before the shooting. Allison Basil is live on the grounds tonight and Allison, you took a closer look at Jones's past and tell us what you've learned. David, UVA Police Chief Tim Longo says this semester someone reported that Christopher Jones might have a gun. He says that tip led the threat assessment team to discover more details about Jones. I want you to know what, what I know. On September 15th, while university officials investigated a hazing issue, UVA spokesman Brian Coy says someone reported Jones might have a gun. That reporting person, again, unaffiliated with the university, to the best of our knowledge, never saw a gun. The comment about Mr. Jones owning a gun was not made in conjunction with any threats. Then the school's threat assessment team got involved. UVA Police Chief Tim Longo says Jones's roommate said they didn't see a weapon. Coy said the investigation led police to find out Jones was convicted of a misdemeanor concealed weapons violation in 2021 in another city. He says Jones got a 12 month suspended sentence and a small fine. UVA officials say Jones didn't tell them about the conviction and refused to cooperate with their investigation. What's interesting about that case is he's, he's required as a student at the University of Virginia to report that. Chief Longo says the hazing investigation closed because witnesses did not cooperate. He didn't mention how it connected to Jones. Jones's father, Christopher Jones Sr., said his son recently had some bullying troubles. He had some problems. Uh, when the last time I talked to him, he said uh, some people was picking on him or whatever. Uh, he didn't know how to handle it. That's and UVA officials could not say what city Jones had the gun violation in. UVA spokesman Brian Coy says officials are asking the university's Judiciary Committee to look into disciplinary action. Live in Charlottesville, Allison Basil, 13 News Now.